when I was like 12 or so. You know, my dad noticed I was good at seeing things, designing things, really good at math, and I could just see an open space and I could see what could be there. And uh, he was uh, a builder, so I was always on the job site with him, and that's how I got into it. You know, I met the architect, I saw what he did, and I just, it's been, you know, going ever since. The excellent faculty makes the architecture program here unique. The fact that they have experiences in the field. They just don't have a degree in architecture. They actually work in the business. So they know what the business needs. They also, because we're Hudson Valley, we have two sisters. We have to make sure that someone can transfer on to another school or go out in the work field. So they're getting the skills that they need to work in the business. So they're getting top line computer programs. They're learning to make architectural models. They're using architectural requirements that you might not see until you're in a four-year program. But they need to see it because they're, they may go out in business and have to work as an assistant to an architect. So to do that, they need those skills. So we offer them a lot of advanced classes that way from a second level, you know, a second year program. They're around the construction business, so they have access to going in the construction lab, seeing actual structures built. So they don't just see it on paper, they can go into the lab and see it being done. The quality of the faculty and program is outstanding. Our department chair, um, it's Dr. LaPlante, um, she's, a got, she's a PhD, she's got a doctorate, she's an engineering, but she's also learning about the new lead, the USGBC push towards sustainable design, so she's, um, she's very good. Uh, we also have an architect on board, he's full time, he has his own firm, so he brings outside real-world projects into the classroom. What really is becoming uh, a big movement uh, is the USGBC, uh, United States Green Building Council. Uh, they have actually uh, merged up with uh, the AIA, American Institute of Architects, uh, and really there's a large push on uh, sustainability. Uh, this may uh, take the avenue of uh, solar gain, photovoltaics, it could be site orientation, water conservation. Uh, so we are trying to incorporate that now into all our classes. It goes back to sort of a principle or a philosophy of living, just to you know, have the least amount of impact on our environment because sometimes if we build things and put things there, you know, they have a lasting impact and maybe sometimes it's unwanted. So sustainable design means we can keep doing that, like we can keep building these things, we can use regenerative product, products that, you know, we're not just taking something that can never be replaced, we're using products that can be, you know, regenerated. Um, I've probably had at least, I would say, 80 to 100 registered architects that have come through this program that have been licensed uh, in New York State since coming here. You have unlimited resources here at Hudson Valley. Um, you know, there's help anywhere. Teachers that I've had, you know, two, uh, a year ago still help me today. Faculty here is, is amazing. Like, you can go to anyone. You can go to an engineering professor or, you know, well, one that mainly works with engineers, and they will help you with anything. One teacher, he'll help you. He's mostly our structures and engineering, but he'll help you with, like yesterday, he did an Excel presentation and showed us how to all do Excel. I've looked at curriculum for uh, five-year schools, four-year schools, and they have all the same stuff. You know, I have an internship now, they're doing all the same stuff I'm doing here. The thing that's impressed me most about this program is, is the mentorship that the, the faculty has, that they sort of, you know, guide you through, you know, what is going to be your career, and, and most of the faculty have, you know, hands-on experience. The architecture program, after the two years in architecture, they transfer, they actually, wherever they transfer to, they take our first two years for their first two years. So the transfer credits have almost doubled in comparison to what it used to be. Uh, so we have a great track record for the, uh, again, students coming out. Uh, I think after two years, they really realize that this is what they want to do. Uh, so that's, again, the reason why they do so well, uh, transferring on. Uh, well, when I finish here at Hudson Valley, I plan to transfer to, um, uh, another four-year school to get my master's degree and hopefully uh, go 
go work under an architect for a while. I want to go to a four-year school or a five-year school. Hopefully get my master's, that's my plan, but if I can get my bachelor's, then go work under an architect, that's also fine with me. But I really would like to get my master's. It's pretty much my plan. Uh, a lot of our students, again, go right into the industry. Uh, we have a lot of employers. As a matter of fact, we typically have more employers requests than we have students. Uh, they'd like to know that a lot of our students weren't transferring on so that they could hire them full time. For units of math, academic math, we prefer algebra geometry. It'd be nice to have trigonometry, but it's not required. And they have to have a seven year veteran on their region's test. They gotta like math, they gotta like science, and they gotta like planning. I read recently that someone said architecture is one of the few degrees left that is an actual professional degree where you have to do everything, where everything is not sort of subcontracted out, whereas an architect you have to be able to design, do structure, planning, contracting. It's all, it's all within your purview. We're doing the house now. We went out to the site and um, you just walk around, you have to be able to see a house there. You can't just be like, okay, there's the site, now I'm going to design a house and just forget all about the site. You have to be able to see it on the site and be able to visualize it there.